Hello friends, finally a new epic game is going to happen today. We are going to find out who is going to win. Here we have Dark from Korea. Dark, one of uh, this channel favorite uh, players. He's one of the best from Korea. He is playing here with the blue Zerg. He's also known as the final boss or the last son of Boxer. His opponent, also from Korea, is none other than Cure. Cure is an uh, experienced uh, Terran player. Both of them are. They have uh, started Cure, for example, in 2011, Dark in 2012. Uh, pretty similar of age. Dark 27, Cure 28. This is going to be a long match. So I'm 100% sure there is going to be a lot back and forth action happening. So far so good. We are trying to explore. Here we have a second hatchery. It's important that uh, Zerg player to have uh, more income because it's all about numbers. It's not about uh, quality but more about quantity. And here for uh, Cure we have a second command center. So both are going to play the macro game. We know this because <laughs> you saw in the YouTube uh, video that it's going to be more than 45 minutes long. But think about it. They have no idea. Uh, this is the point of view of uh, Cure, and this is the point of view of uh, Dark. So at first, at the beginning of the game, we are into like fog of war. Here we have a very nice dog. Uh, now let's go back to the main map and see what we are going to prepare. So knowing that it's going to be a macro game between two of the best uh, players from Korea, I'm going to expect a lot of action, so stay with me. Also, I want to say a big thank you for all of you that are uh, watching uh, my channel. This is a very good indicator, uh, especially if you are subscribing that. Uh, and thank you, first of all, this means a lot to me. It's a good indicator that I'm uh, building an audience and that I'm creating uh, helpful content. Uh, helpful content. 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 <laughs> I just think this is not my first language uh, that you enjoy, so thank you very much. Here we have a mule. Mule are very good because they are providing extra income and another one. So what is better than one mule? Two mules. And already here uh, we can see that in terms of worker they are pretty equal. In terms of army, Dark is creating more. It's easy when you are playing Zerg because that means more Zerglings. Already two queens over here and the fourth hatchery. So, as usual, it's important uh, to see that uh, we are very active with the Zerg. Already one killed, the other one scouting, seeing exactly the timing. Timings are very important in this game. Obviously, you are never ever going to know exactly, exactly what uh, your opponent is going to do. But it's something called educated guess. And this is exactly what we are looking for. Uh, when we are scouting, to have an educated guess, to know what is available. Like, think about it. if you don't see another command center, that means panic mode, something uh, is happening, some sh shenanigans. So when you are going to scout, to make sure if it's, it's true or not, so you can stop your macro and focus on your uh, defense. Now two Hellions, trying to scout as much as possible. The Queen, excellent block. And... Something, no. Two kills, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So in terms of uh, defense, what can you do against five queens and a lot of zerlings? Not that much. Not that much at all. And while this is happening, here we have a fully saturated base. The second one is uh, sold out, if I can say so. So only available places for mining minerals is at the fourth hatchery. And here we have uh, the Blessing Viking that is making sure the sky is uh, clear of any observers because uh, this is the big thing. If you are, uh, as if you are playing with Zerling, the overlords uh, can scout and Vikings give you back uh, the visual of the map. But a Zerling from time to time, a sacrificial one, look at him burning. And now we have a Banshee. Nice. I like uh, when I see Banshees uh, in a game, especially with Cloak. They can do a lot of damage if they are in big number, but only in the early game. So let's see what uh, Cure is going to try to do with only one bench. Not that much. In the meantime, Dark is uh, already maxed out in uh, 
the fourth hatchery and building the fourth one. So expect a macro game. If, uh, both of them. Now engineering banks are very important. Upgrades are making a huge difference. If you have more than your opponents, obviously, even if your army is going to be smaller, it's going to be more and more efficient. And I cannot wait to see when we are going to throw punches in a couple of moments. So far more uh, banshees. Obviously, probably by the time we are going to reach, uh, we are going to have cloak ready. In the meantime, steam pack is, uh, is done for cure in completed. I was going to say one, two, three, but look at the timing. This is what a pro player is doing. Uh, here all these Zerlings expecting a, medi a drop, but no drop here. But already here we have a spore crawler, so the detection is here. The Zerg uh, can detect only with an Overseer or with uh, spore crawlers. So denying these two Banshees is huge because uh, they can do a lot of damage to the mineral lines. Now finally Cure acquiring a third orbital uh, command center. Now these Banshees are killing only Cryptomorphs or an eventual uh, Zerling. And look at the crease spread for Dark. Like half of the map already is covered. Yeah, another Cryptomorph. No, not that impressive with aggression. So what is happening over here? Look at the vision. So already Dark has half of it. And more and more units are being pumped up. Now Marines are uh, going with two Medivacs. Uh, Marines and Medivacs, it's a good combo because uh, we already have uh, infantry weapon level 1, armor, shield, and this is the perfect timing for them to try to deny a little bit of the creep and do some damage. Also if steam pack, we have the medivax to heal them. How this is happening uh, is beyond our understanding. It's a technology from the future. And now we have melee attack level 1 and ground carapace level 1 for uh, Dark, so Zerg is keeping uh, pace with Terran. And already here we see how fast uh, Zerg units are moving. With Bailings, with Zerlings, with Queens. Now more Marines are being pumped. And in terms of income, heavily favoring Dark and Army as well. So far so good for Dark. But as I said, it's more about uh, numbers than efficiency. You are bound to lose way more minerals and units if you are a Zerg. But the power of Zerg is the swarm. The fact that it will uh, be able to literally flood you with units. But Medivacs are here to drop to safety. Otherwise, these Marines will be dead. Now we have one to punch. Two Medivacs on top of the map. And the uh, other two Medivacs uh, on the bottom of the map. Here we have the Vikings, just to deny the vision. And dropping the Marines, but already the Zerlings are on their way. Look at them flooding the main base. So probably not too much. We are going to be able... Yeah. A little bit of damage, not bad at all. Trying also to attack in the south. Now, putting them down to the ground, healing them. But while this is happening, Dark is maxed out. 195. But Cure also is pretty close. 92 workers for Cure, 86 for Dark. So both players are heavily investing in the long game. And obviously you need a lot of resources. Trying to open this uh, avenue. Uh, so Zerk, you want to make uh, sure to be able to make us around. Now look at this Viking killing another uh, Overlord for free. Not bad at all. Now this Marine's main mission is to deny the creep apparently. And look at the surround. Uh, some Marines died. The Bailings are like kamikaze. They are sacrificing themselves for the good of the swarm. Now more upgrades with vehicle level 1, melee attack level 2, infantry armor level 2, ground carapace level 2, so... Infantry weapon level 2, so both players are heavily investing in upgrades. 
These two bashes are doing some damage after all. Seven kills on this one, four on the other one. Not bad, but what you are going to do against the swarm? Look, vipers over here. They are very important. And Boron Adrenal Glance is over as well. So, as I said, epic game. Look at this attack. Wow. This is what an attack should look like. Denying the advantage of the tank. Despite the fact that it was in CS mode with the Vipers, you can deny it easily. And then flooding with Zerlings. Trying to kill as many of uh, the workers as possible. So this is an epic uh, game. Look how many tanks over here. Building uh, planetary fortresses. Creating choke points. Another one over here. So basically it's going to be the turtle style. And look here, ba Zerlings are here borrowed, not Bailings. But with detection here, missile turrets to prevent any future. Look, <laughs> yeah, he realized something is happening. Uh, to prevent uh, any future advancement uh, from uh, these uh, Vipers. Now they are gathering energy from uh, the hatchery, trying to improve uh, their health. And uh, now we have the big boys, the Ultra Disc. Uh, let's see, maybe Cure now will have some. Uh, uh, usually by now, uh, Terran units uh, favorite uh, by everyone are ghosts. And ghosts are very important. And very cool in my opinion. Now, Hellbats are here to soak some of the damage. And look how nice it uh, looked, army of uh, Dark. Very impressive. Ultralisk. They are like giant uh, elephants with killer tusks. Uh, preparing for another attack. Dark already have a nice bank, more than 5,000. Binding clowns here, denying the tanks. Trying to flood with uh, bailings. Is it going to work? Partially. Yeah, the planetary fortress was killed. But he was able to stabilize the attack. Liberators are here as well, doing a lot of damage. In my opinion, Liberators sometimes are underestimated. Because you cannot put Binding Clouds on them. And already here we have the Ghosts. The Ghosts are ready. I wonder, we are going to see... Atomic Bombs? Who knows? As usual, I'm finding uh, together with you who is going to win. I have no idea what is going to happen, what tactics. This is the beauty of this game, there aren't two games alike. We never know what is happening. So more and more bailings, bailings are very good. And ghost personal cloaking is done, in the meantime. More and more bases uh, for dark, one, two, three, four, five. And while I'm counting, another attack. Yeah, he's literally trying, but look at the planetary fortress. Excellent position. Sniping everywhere. Nice attack. Another snipe. And only one Ultralisk. It's remaining. And two attacks. One happened here in the same time. Let, let, let's check it out. The North attack. Wow. Yeah. So, this is what uh, you are supposed to do at the pro level. Attack from two different angles. But, luckily for uh, Cure, he has an orbital command center ready to be put. Now, putting here a little Zerling is very important because uh, you know the timing and you deny a little bit of uh, the mining. Uh, these bases are pretty close to each other. Now another attack. So Dark is literally flooding his opponent. Wow. Spectacular to say the least. And now Cure lost a lot of workers. While Dark has 100 workers, Cure only 54. 
but it's okay as a Terran, in my opinion, because you can use uh, mules, don't need that much workers, you need them, but especially for uh, the Vespian gas. Now, how many kills on the Liberator? 10 so far, nice. Vehicle plating level 1 completed, armor building. So both players are <laughs> literally uh, using all the upgrades. Uh, so far, so good. This is what we are waiting for. Um, Swarm host? Only one? Is this just for fun? Or it was a misclick? Probably just for fun. Swarmhosts are very good at the early game, but in uh, big numbers. Now infestors. Now look at the spore crawlers. They have like some tiny feet. I'm being put here like a barrier. A big wall of uh, spore crawlers. <laughs> Versus hellbats. <laughs> with, uh, with blue flame for uh, add for adding more damage. Now this missile turret is going to... Yes. The SUV is going to repair it. Now again, <laughs> moving <laughs> the spore crawlers further away with the hellbats. Now we are retreating. So a lot of action everywhere. This turtle style is very, very efficient. If you have the patience to pull it off. Basically you have tanks in the back to do the splash damage and the hell bats here to deny the zerlings. And brood lords, wow. Brood lords I like very much. The infestors are denying the vikings and wow, non-stop action. I'm pretty sure we are going to see all the major units here. Now, ghosts are very important. They need to snipe. But the spore cores uh, are very efficient in uh, spotting them. So the broodlords are staying above uh, the spore cores. The queens are spreading the creep. And both players are very methodically advancing. Tors here. Tanks, so switching uh, more to a uh, mech army. So as long as uh, Dark is able to deny the mining of Cure, he is going to win the game. But I will not uh, underestimate Cure. He's a very tough opponent. A tough knock uh, to crack, as they say in English. A look of the army of uh, Dark, impressive. A look of the Sporkoros, advancing. Now Sporkoros versus Liberator. This is something you usually don't see. Thor's here doing a lot of damage with the ghosts. Now dropping more mules. This is what is going to keep uh, Cure alive. Now the Queen's putting more sp Spore Crawlers, Crypt Tumors. This is free damage, guys. So each time Brute Lords are uh, attacking, it's free damage. But now how many Tors? Six Tors in impact mode. Nice. Dark is always maxed out. Now Brute Links, easily denied. And this base is very important because the main one is dried up. The second one as well, look at these idle workers. This one only a couple of minerals, this one as well. So this base is keeping and this one uh, cure dream alive. Now trying to deny it, but look at the sniping immediately. That ultra risk had uh, zero chances of success. And more and more bailings. So literally, you can say it, you can send uh, waves after waves of bailings, and there is nothing uh, Cure can do. But this base, whoo, heavily protected. The big guys are here. Look at them.
but as I said, Brawl Lords are doing free damage. Missile attack level 2, flyer attack level 2, and flyer carapace level 2 for dark. And while this is happening, this bunch of marines are denying this base. So well done, abusing the choke point, doing as much damage as possible. And this base was denied. So it's very hard to mine here when uh, you literally have half of the Zerg army. And another wave of Zerlings trying to make sure uh, the last remaining minerals over here are not being taken. So Zerg is everywhere. This, uh, this is a desperate uh, defense from uh, Cure. But he's managed to stabilize. But what do you do against the Brutalors? It's a good question. Now, for him, the income is not that good. Dark can still afford to lose. Look at the advantage of Dark constantly. It's superior. In terms of army as well. So, Dark maxed out 195 out of 200. Cure 161. Testers are very good, but ghosts are epic. Look at them. So these ghosts are literally keeping uh, the Terran uh, dream alive. And this base is uh, this hatcher is almost uh, dead. Nice. This is the swarm in action. So this base is stabilized. Look at the amount of uh, mules. And now let's see the income in a couple of seconds. So these mules are going to easily bring a lot of minerals. And Cure is going to have a lot of marines and other units. Look at the income of Cure. Finally getting bigger. But Dark knows this. Cannot allow it. And again, a bunch of Zerlings are denying it. And another attack from the opposite direction. But here are a lot of tanks, liberators, a lot of splash damage. And more... More SUVs, more mules are being uh, called to the workplace. Let's see again the income, now favoring uh, Dark again, just for a couple of seconds, it's, it favors uh, Cure. I'm trying to acquire this base, but already spotted. Now, this base, no more minerals, this one as well, this one as well. This one has a little bit minerals, this one as well has a little bit. So, Dark is doing way better. Yeah, despite he lost this hatcher, he still has. For the Terran player, for uh, Cure, only this one. So is this attack going to be successful? I don't know, guys. More and more units. Now we have another wave of Broodlords. A lot of infestors. But this uh, mech army is looking uh, mighty good. Now, command center is being floated, probably it's going to be a fortress. Because obviously this is going to be a place of constant attack. More mules are being dropped. And is Cure going to be able to do it? To kill Dark? I don't know. So we have the big guys, the Ultralisk, Bailings, Broodlords, Infestors. Vipers, what else would you like? All the major players are here. Thors for the Terran, tanks, liberators, and obviously ghosts in clock mode. Look at them. Each time the sniping ability is being activated and a very expensive unit is being lost. And now this liberator, perfectly situated to deny 
any mining from this base. Now abusing the high ground, not bad at all. But look at the damage done by the Infester. Infester with uh, Viper together, deadly combo. So what would you do if someone like uh, Dark is attacking you with the full might of the swarm? I, I know, I'll be dead. <laughs> Dark is uh, playing like Serral, or Serral is playing like Dark. Very methodical approach. And the Broodlings from the Brood Lords are doing epic damage, free of charge. Now, Cure needs to do something. Because we are also talking about the ability of the Viper to abduct units. Binding clouds. Plus you have the Infestors. But... Putting uh, all the workers to good use, a lot of mules. Cure is able to stabilize the situation. Both players are maxed out. Dark has more workers, so that means his army is uh, less. But look at the broodlings. This is how it should go. And Cure is taking the initiative. And hey, what do we have here? Traitors to the Terra Nation. The Infestor kidnapped Tors and Tors versus Tors. Nice. So, borrowed infestors with abduct mind controlling tours. And it's impossible for ghosts to remain in uh, stealth mode when you have so many overseers. Overseers everywhere. Literally, like 10 of them. So, this is why I like to cast on Sunday. I'm more relaxed. And. Uh, I will do my best during weekends to find out uh, long games with non-stop action like this one. And my favorite is uh, obviously Zerg vs Terran. It always uh, was, it always will be. I asked you on the community page uh, for you to submit what uh, you'd like to see more. Terran vs Protoss, Protoss vs uh, Zerg. Zerg vs Protoss. Um, the vast majority of you said uh, Zerg vs uh, Terran. Now, the planetary fortress, I don't know how long it's going to be able to survive. SUVs are trying uh, to repair it successfully so far. There are a lot of minerals over here, and now Dark is supply blocked. So that means somewhere an overseer needs to. And these are changelings. They look like marines, but they are not marines. Now, this orbital command is just good for mules. Now, look how many tors over here we have. Infestors are doing infestor things. This uh, green stuff is uh, making uh, Terran units uh, slow. Walking and also losing a lot of uh, health. So very cool game, guys. Look how many tours we have here. But abduct is here as well. Are the ghosts going to be able to change the game? I wonder. Now what will it, it, what will surprise uh, Zerg? But obviously this is just a dream to have like uh, 20 battle cruisers hidden somehow with Yamata cannon. But uh, we see them so rarely. They are very expensive. 400 minerals. So. 
plus gas. Now an attack in the south while trying to hold the line in the north. Ah, oh, pincer maneuver. So Terran Cure is trying to do what Zerg usually does. Now Thor's are holding the line, but here with the duct, the traitor Thor. Now duct is maxed out, you're only 160, and unfortunately a lot of the ghosts died. So, Cure is trying, this is the best that the uh, Terran uh, army can offer. Is he going to march forward? Is this like a win or break moment? This ghost 25 kills, wow! The other ghost 11 kills. That's an epic ghost. Now this slow march from Cure is working, wow! What Dark has now? A counterattack? Yeah. So Dark was uh, managed to find the reinforcements. Here some free torch. And now the Zer counterattack. And that's a lot of infestors. So Cure is backing, regrouping, and trying again. He was successful in uh, using all the minerals from uh, these bases. Otherwise he would have been dead by now. So good for him. And now trying again to attack the last uh, mineral base for Dark. To deny Dark uh, economic advantage. Successfully done. Now in terms of... Uh, Minerals. Both players are almost broke. <laughs> but Dark has a big bank. More than 7,000 minerals, not bad at all. Still have some minerals over here. And Dark is maxed out uh, pretty soon. It's going to be. So here we have a little bit more minerals here as well. So, the whole map, on the whole map, this is the only place where you are going to find mirrors. Wow. I hope you enjoy this game, guys. I know I do. Especially it's a pleasure to see pro players at this level. Now, dark counter-attack. The links everywhere. Taking advantage of the fact that this is a slow army. Make army are slow by nature. So the links everywhere. Is this going to be the final epic push? Successful? Let's find out. So a lot of uh, tours, couple of tanks, ghosts. And very important, somehow, usually we don't uh, understand the importance of Hellbats to soak some of the damage. To allow the big guys to actually do their thing. Now Binding Clouds. Very efficient. And now we are going to find out who's who. Who's the better player in this game. Is it going to be Dark or Cure? I still don't know what to say. My money will be on Dark. He has more uh, money on the bank. He's maxed out, but this army is really impressive. But this is the moment when Cure needs to do something. He cannot just uh, take punches like this. He needs to attack. He needs to be able to do uh, some serious damage. Here acquiring again this base. 
and the whole map is uh, running out of minerals. This is a make or break moment. And now sending the bailings. Bailings are, are looking for uh, ghosts, abducting some of the <laughs> heavy tours. Wow. One, two, three, four, five of ducks in the same time. Yeah. Dark, Dark is definitely the winner here. I don't see how Cure can come back from this. Excellent use of uh, combined weapons, if I can say so in modern uh, terms. Now this is the March of Victory. Nothing, uh, nothing Cure can do now. Yeah. The Ultra Disc are killing the last remaining and Dark with a special uh, a wonderful game. Thank you very much Dark. Thank you very much Cure. Thank you very much everyone. Keanu over. Remember to subscribe. See you for the next match.